guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the look that I have created today. It is a smoky eye with an Indian twist, and this is supposed to be a bridal look. Uh, it's something that I'm considering doing at my own reception this June when I get married in Jamaica because COVID-19 is going away, guys. It's going away. It's going to, it's going to, and my wedding is going to happen. Okay, it's happening, okay? So anyways, this is the finished look and I am going to now pose with a Indian Jimmy on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Don't mind the clip. Ooh. Don't mind the clip. Ooh. Ooh. If you guys want to see this look, stay tuned. go in straight into my brow pomade. It's Deep Brunette and it's from Sahi Cosmetics. This is the darkest shade that we have. And I'm just gonna start lining my brows and I start from the bottom. I'm going dark with this brow because I know that my eye look is gonna be dark so you can go a little bit heavier with your brows because you don't want them to end up looking too blended into your skin. All right, I feel like I'm having an off brow day today, so I'm just gonna give up and move on to my eyes, and hopefully the look will come in and look a little bit, it'll all come together, it'll come together. It's gonna come together. All right, next I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. This guy, I don't use enough, which is why I'm trying to force myself to use it. I'm gonna use a brush that it comes with and I'm gonna go into the shade Smolder, which is this shade right here. And I'm gonna go into my crease line with this, just to define it out and make it a little bit easier for me to see what I'm doing here. Next, I'm gonna go into the Sahi Cosmetics Contour pa Baking Palette. I'm gonna use the cream concealer that I have right here. And I am gonna put that on top of my lid so I can pack on some black eyeshadow. Otherwise, I feel like with a lot of Urban Decay palettes, you know, the pigment just doesn't pop right away. So I'm using this to basically prime my lid and get that, that deep, deep pigment to stick and look good. All right, now that we are primed and ready to go, I'm gonna go straight into the darkest shade here called Black Market, and I'm gonna pack that onto my lid. I'm using a firm bristle eyeshadow brush, just like this. blend this out a little bit more, but I'm dipping into my Naked 2 palette. They have a color called Blackout Hair, and I think that this might be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go straight into it and see if I can. Yeah, I think it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna go ahead and pack that on. It's funny, because every time you do like this dark, smoky look, you look so crazy when you're just starting it off, so. Don't be discouraged by it looking messy, by getting fallout all over your face. I mean, this is the natural progression of doing a look like this. And a lot of people don't really share that. They kind of show just the perfect end look and that's not really how it is. It's actually really messy. It takes a lot of blending and it takes a lot of layers 
to get that look. But I think this would be perfect for a reception kind of makeup look when it's, you know, nighttime. I definitely don't want to do a smoky eye like this for my actual wedding. Um, because that's happening during the daytime on a beach. God willing. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm supposed to be getting married in Jamaica, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. Our date's June 19. But every time I talk to my wedding planner in Jamaica, she's like, we don't want you canceling your wedding. In fact, all of our April and May brides, we've pushed them back to June. They're doing like weekdays in June because those are the dates that we have left. So they're like, we definitely don't want you to lose your spot and regret it afterwards because um, we think that the travel restrictions are gonna be lifted by then. So I'm just pretending like I'm still gonna be having my wedding in Jamaica and uh, that is still gonna be happening in June. I mean, it's wishful thinking, I think, but all of my relatives are pretty chill about it. They're like, well, if we have to cancel our tickets, we can cancel it later. Um, another thing, yes, I am gonna be doing my own makeup for my wedding at all of the events. I know it sounds stress stressful, but trust me, I'm the type of person that would be so upset if someone else did my makeup and they didn't do a good job. Like, I would be mad at myself for taking the easy way out and not doing it myself, so. That's why I am probably just gonna end up doing it myself. And I'm practicing all the looks here on YouTube and you guys get to watch me. All right, so um, when you do a smoky look like this, you tend to lose dimension in your eye because you just put black everywhere. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring in some warmth above. So I'm gonna go back into my crease and this time I'm gonna go with the Naked 3 palette. It's just a bunch of warm tones, so I suggest you guys Pick up any palette that you guys have at home that's warm. I'm gonna use a shade called Factory. Using a clean, fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into the shade called Noon, which is this matte shade. All right, I'm going in with a little bit more black. Guys, I just don't think this black is doing it for me. Like what palettes have I been using all my life? I primed my eyes and everything. All right, and your smoky eye, I think I, I think I need to do more things to this. I will do more things to this, but first I'm just gonna line my waterline at the bottom and kind of connect the look. And then from there I'd be able to see where I need to go next. So I'm just taking, this is a Lancome pencil. It's a waterproof one in the shade Raisin Noir, made in Germany. The crayon coal waterproof. That's all I know. All right, let's go. This is really gross. I'm sorry, guys, if this grosses you out. I'm gonna see if lighting the top makes a difference. liner brush I'm gonna go in into blackout again from naked 2 and I'm going to do my lower lash line a little bit deeper and connect it up top all right next I'm gonna use the shade 13 in the smoky palette and I'm going to just hit my brow bone right underneath my eyebrows Sahi Cosmetics Felt Tip Liner. All right, let's clean up the rest of our face. <laughs> 
and get to the oh lashes how could I forget lashes oh my lord I like to use these faux mink eyelashes that I get from Amazon and I like to use the duo blue this one has a brush on applicator so it makes it easier to use and just pop the lashes on, especially if you have long nails. Like me, it's just pain sometimes to get lashes on. the rest of the face we're gonna do the skin so I'm gonna move straight into first thinning my hands because I have glue on it and then now I'm gonna be going into perfecting my skin so Sahi Cosmetics this is the primer serum it's called mystic and it's mystic because it's this mysterious color and the texture is like amazing it has this iridescence texture to it it's life guys it's just life trust me this feels so good on my skin right now. All right, I'm going into the contour and baking palette and picking up this cream corrector and going under my eyes with that. And I'm putting it only where I need it, only where I see a little bit of darkness. Honestly, some of this darkness is just from the shadow, the fallout, which is fine. We're gonna correct it. We're gonna get rid of all of that. I'm gonna use a flat top kabuki and I'm gonna be using the shade N3 if I can find it. Here it is. Sahi Cosmetics. Skin Perfecting Elixir in the shade N3. And I just put on the back of my hand. We're gonna let it warm up for a little bit. our under eye concealer in the shade light and I'm gonna just put it right under my eyes and I'm gonna cover up whatever orange we put down. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Sahi Cosmetics translucent powder and for this I'm just gonna be using a firm brush like this just so I can pack it on in there. same brush I'm gonna go into our contour palette again and just pick up that powder contour I'm just gonna chisel my cheeks with that fluffy brush and go back into that same contour powder and I'm gonna go down my nose and contour my nose. Ooh, that does not look like the right color. I think this had eyeshadow on it from before. But whatever, we're gonna make it work. Alright, not bad. I actually really like how this looks right now. I'm gonna go in with Nectar. This is a more peachy kind of blush. It's close to NARS Orgasm. This is our baked blush. Everything I'm using will be linked below as usual. Now I don't wanna to go too crazy with other colors, especially because our eyes are so crazy. You don't have too many things going on at the same time. So your skin is just to kind of like complement this crazy eye look that you're creating. But I mean, it looks crazy right now under all these bright lights, but at nighttime, can you just imagine how nice a smoky, glittery eye would look, especially if you have night lights dropping down. It's just going to really make your look look just, you're just gonna look so classy, girl. Okay, we're gonna go in with some highlighter and I'm gonna bring you guys a budget-friendly highlighter. We're using Essence, this is pure nude. 
and I'm gonna go in with a highlighting brush. Just scratch the surface of that, go deep. This is not a strong highlight, guys. I'm just gonna pinch my brush and go straight down the, my nose. All right, for lips, I'm going to be using a mixture of Alia and Katrina. I use so much of my Katrina already that I have to open up a new one. Lucky for me, I have inventory for days on this kind of stuff, so I can always just go and grab another one. So it's these two shades. I'm gonna be mixing them together. Um, cause in my last look, I just used this and I don't want to give you guys the same lip. So I'm just going to be using, um, a little bit mirror like this. It's a surface that I cleaned with dish soap and I'm just taking some of the lips product, swooping it out and putting it onto this plate. And then I'm going to do the same thing with Katrina. So this is how the swatch is looking right now. I'm gonna mix the two together and let's see what shade we get. This is so pretty. Like every time I do this, it's like, you don't really know what you're gonna get, but oh my God, guys, come on. This is like the perfect mob. Whenever you don't have a lip color that you want, seriously, just mix it yourself and make that color. looks good right now even when it's wet so you can go in and put either a glass I like to use the diamond lip treatment um, it's with shea butter and jojoba oil so it's just like a natural gloss so I like to use this um, but I'm actually gonna wait until it mats out and I think I might like it better like that that's really all you need you can make any shade with those colors I mean you just need to have creativity in your arsenal that's it so this is the finished look guys. I really really like it. Um, this could be a look. This could be a look that I use for my actual reception. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it whether or not this matches my outfit or not. You guys have to wait for that. And if you guys want to see me shopping for my outfits, I'm putting up a vlog for like my entire trip to India when we went shopping, we went to Sabya Sachi. So if you guys know about Indian designers, Sabya Sachi is one of the best designers out there right now. And we went shopping there. So <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing that, please subscribe and get the bell so that you get the notifications for whenever my video goes up. And um, like this video, please. I would really appreciate that. And um, yeah, that's it. So now I'm gonna do a couple of poses because that's what YouTubers do. I'm gonna go fix my hair and like put some jewelry on and then I will like pretend that this is how I sit at home during quarantine all the time. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'm trying to pretend like I'm wearing a suit. How's it working? But how's it look? Does it look like I'm wearing a suit or like what? Dad, I didn't know you were there. I didn't want you to see my nutcase.